I want to celebrate with you what God has done. Two weeks ago, we had our annual Missions Fest where we look both what God is doing around the world globally and hear what he's doing through the ministries of our church locally. We set a target to raise $40,000 to help ministry partners, for example, uh, to raise money for medical supplies in Lebanon, uh, to address food shortages in East Africa, to address some issues with our partners in South America and Pakistan and Nepal, and here to address also food shortages locally as well as to be able to provide uh, baby supplies uh, for parents, mothers that desperately need them and can't afford them. So we set this target of $40,000 and I am thrilled to the glory of God to tell you that through your generosity, we have raised almost $150,000 in a week. How cool, thank you God. Thank you, Wheaton Bible Church. Thank you for your generosity. We are generous because we serve a generous Savior, amen? And we serve him to his glory, and so what we have is his. Now having said that, would you bow with me and let's pray together. Father, we are amazed at your goodness. We celebrate your grace, we celebrate that we are able to share 30 cents on the dollar of everything that comes into Wheaton Bible Church with our partners locally and globally, that we might see people come to Christ and built up in Christ. And we ask that you would take this wonderful, this offering that's almost four times what our target was and use it to that end that there will be a child in Nepal that will come to Christ. There will be a family that will receive food in Kenya and that will result in them turning to Jesus. We pray that people would be built up in their faith. We pray for what is going on here locally, the extensive ministries of our church and ask in this time, this day and age, you would be glorified and that you would prosper our commitments our work. And Father, we want to come to you during this pandemic and ask that you would give grace, that you would protect our people from sickness and death, that you would give us uh, the faith to look to you and realize that you hold our lives in your hands and that you would help us to be loving and patient. We pray that you would bring a pa this pandemic to an end that you would surprise us and you would do something wonderful. Would you bless the scientists, uh, the doctors that are looking into this? And would you give them wisdom and would you open profound doors? We pray for this upcoming presidential election in just two days and we pray that your will would be done. That you, God, would bless our leaders that whoever is elected at uh, national, state, and local levels, that you would work in their lives in such a way to give them wisdom and discernment that they might lead with justice and mercy. We pray that you would draw many of these leaders to Jesus and that you would surround them with good counsel, godly counsel. We pray for our country, but not just our country, the countries of the world. That in this time of economic upheaval and uncertainty, that you would work. And we pray, God, for the church of Jesus Christ. We pray that we would be salt and light. And you would deliver us from anger and anxiety, from divisiveness. Today is Persecuted Church Sunday, and so we want to pray for the persecuted church around the world. We know every year thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of people lose their life because of their faith in Christ. 
And we pray that you would be glorified in these moments. You would protect others from death and persecution. We stand with our brothers and sisters around the world and ask that you would teach us from them. So now we give ourselves again to you. We want you to know as we have sung that we love you. And we pray in Jesus' great name, amen.